Royal Shock, How Prince William Fell Into a Bush and Was Retrieved by His Bodyguards. Prince William once got so drunk he fell into a bush outside his university accommodation and had to be retrieved by his bodyguards, a friend told a documentary. The second in line to the throne attended St. Andrews University, where he met his future wife, Kate. Both William and Kate liked to have fun and, due to the palace's agreement with the media, they were left alone for four years to do this. A friend recalled a hilarious anecdote in the documentary Prince William at 30, uploaded to YouTube in June 2012. Helen McArdle lived in the room next to Kate's in their halls of residence, St. Salvatore's, nicknamed Sally's. William also lived in this accommodation block. Ms. McArdle said, I remember William coming back, I think after celebrating the end of his exams, and falling into a bush outside Sally's and having to be retrieved by his bodyguards. She also recalled a time when Kate had a similar incident. She added, I can remember Kate having to be carried back to her room by one of the Eaton boys, because she couldn't walk and she was paralytically drunk, as we all were during that week. A popular drinking location for both William and Kate was Ma Bells, nicknamed Ya Bells in St. Andrews. They generally hung around the more upmarket bars, according to Ms. McArdell. Whilst the pair managed to keep their relationship very low-key at first, a cheeky intimate moment in Ma Bells confirmed to their friend that they were together. Ms. McArdell said, I remember seeing the two of the at the bar and him pinching her bottom and that was the first time I remember thinking, well they're definitely a couple then. She explained how Kate became very good friends with William and his friends from Eden forming a very tight group. Jules Knight, a university friend of Williams, told the documentary, because they were in the same year in the same halls, they were able to develop their friendship. Eventually this friendship blossomed into romance and the pair began dating in 2003. They took a brief trial separation in 2004 and another break in 2007, but eventually William proposed in 2010. The royal couple got married in a lavish ceremony in Westminster Abbey in April 2011. They have since had three children, Prince George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 4, and Prince Louis, 1. Royal Shock, How Prince Charles Told Camilla He Wanted to Live Inside Her Trousers Prince Charles shocked the world as a bedtime chat between himself and Camilla. The Duchess of Cornwall revealed he wanted to live inside her trousers in the early 1990s. Prince Charles and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall have been married for 14 years but the couple have had a bumpy road to their now respected romance. The Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall were caught on tape in which Prince Charles made some shocking admissions to the woman he went on to marry. The event, which has since been branded Camugate or Tampongate, caused carnage as it happened during Prince Charles and Princess Diana's marriage troubles. The bedtime conversation was recorded in 1989 when the Prince of Wales and Diana were still married. Camilla was also married at the time to Brigadier Andrew Parker Bowles. The transcript of the conversation stayed hidden for a few years before it was published by national newspapers in January 1993, just a month after Prince Charles and Princess Diana formally separated. This was a period where Diana was attempting to establish herself as a national figure in her own right. First published by The People on January 17, 1993 under the headline Charles and Camilla, the tape, the recordings and transcriptions were shocking for the British public. Part of the transcript reads. Prince Charles, oh, God! I'll just live inside your trousers or something. It would be much easier. Camilla, laughing. What are you going to turn into, a pair of knickers? Both laugh. Oh, you're going to come back as a pair of knickers. Prince Charles, or, God forbid, a Tampax. Just my luck. Laughs. Camilla, you are a complete idiot. Laughs, oh, what a wonderful idea. Prince Charles, my luck to be chucked down a lavatory and go on and on forever swirling round on the top, never going down. The conversation between Princess Charles and Camilla was branded sick by Princess Diana. Her reaction was revealed by the prince's former personal protection officer Ken Worf. In his book Guarding Diana, Protecting the Princess Around the World, 
he wrote, game, set and match, she said, clutching to her a copy of the Daily Mirror containing a transcript of the Camuagate tape as we talked in her sitting room at Kensington Palace. Later, however, she told me that she had been genuinely shocked by some of the baser comments, particularly the Prince's tampon reference. It's just sick, she said repeatedly. The recording of the phone call is said to have been made by a radio enthusiast using a high-tech scanning device. Commenting on the reaction to Charles, following the publication of the tape's transcript, Mr. Worf said in the book, the backlash was savage. Establishment figures normally loyal to future king and country were appalled, and some questioned the prince's suitability to rule. 